Hi Aries, welcome to your bonus reading for the day. I hope you're fantastic. Thank you for stopping in. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards for you. Angel Spirit Guides, please show us Aries daily general message. What do they need to see or acknowledge for Aries daily general message? Eight of Cups is underlying. The King of Water, okay. Somebody with water in their chart. Someone who is very mature. Two of Swords, trying to make a decision. Um, there could be some conflicted thoughts about this situation. Two of Pentacles. You're really trying to make a decision about something. Or a person. You're deciding to follow your intuition. You're tapping into spirit. Um, now, you could be the king of water. There could be something where you're listening to your emotions and how you feel. Um, if there is a decision that you are not sure about, because we have four of pentacles, you're wanting to keep something stable. Seven of Cups. Choices or confusion due to too many options or mixed feelings about something. What is Aries energy here? Okay. Something here is painful or hurtful. The well is around you. The wishing well, deep feelings, deep emotions. Your fear is the death, like you don't want something to change or be over. You get Wheel of Fortune, okay. So you have some changes going on. Your heart could already be kind of in a place where you feel some kind of pain or painful feelings. It's a lot of water, like there's a lot of emotions. And emotions come and go, they can be confusing. So Major Arcana High Priestess is probably the better way to go. Um, what do we have here for Aries energy? What is their energy? What is the outcome with the wheel? Nine of Pentacles. Having a comfortable life, standing on your own two feet. Okay, we get the Ace of Swords, Truth or Clarity. We get a Two of Cups. A partnership is either strong or two people are in a connection. And then we have here Six of Swords. Things get easier for you. 
Um, okay. Someone is independent. They're doing something on their own. They have resources, a comfortable lifestyle. Um, okay, we do have a Nine of Cups now. Wishes that come true. Emotional satisfaction. Somebody's content. Okay, so I don't know if it's a breakup. Your energy feels like you're afraid of, um, you know, a breakup or some painful feelings. What do we have here for Aries? What do they need to see today? Okay, we do have this tulips. This is about a lot of love being shown to you. And then we have here this energy of the lovebirds again, the soulmates. Well, we have here the death of the fox. So there could be the ending of someone being shady or sly. It's a change. So somebody here was being shady or sly and it could be over. Four leaf clovers on the bottom. Good energy, okay. Wow. Can we have here finding your true north? In the reverse. But, uh, and then we have here the fishes of abundance. This is about wealth, prosperity, a lavish lifestyle, um, things coming in for you that are abundant or reaping your harvest. Okay, so you're afraid of the death. You get the wheel of fortune. You are sort of in a four of pentacles, confusion, feeling hurt feelings or painful thoughts. But then you end up here nine of coin and nine of cups. You will be very satisfied. There is love and harmony and you get the truth from someone. Okay. Six of swords as things become easier for you. What else do we have here for Aries? One more. Okay. So this is a really, really good sign to me, the Ten of Swords and the Sun. I don't think it's something being illuminated that's going to hurt you. I feel like this is the Sun is shining brightly and there is something here positive that will end a situation and make something better for you because the fishes are positive, um, the swans are positive, the flowers are positive. The True North just means something is gonna happen to change your course that is good. Um, the Sun card is happiness, joy, success. And the Ten of Swords is really, it's a painful ending, but it depends on your situation. It's the ending of stress. Something's coming to an end, it's coming to a close. So you have something changing. You are in a Nine of Pentacles and Nine of Cups, which is very satisfied. And you're coming out of a three of swords. The, the fool's on the bottom. So there's something about breaking free, being um, free of something that was burdening you. The knight of cups comes forward. There's an eight of swords. This could be someone from your past or it could be a friend. We have eight of swords and the knight of cups. It could be an apology. It could be just somebody being nice to you, five of pentacles, feeling abandoned, four of swords, emperor, you are strong. You know who you are, well that's good. You know who you are, so nothing really shakes you that much, but um, you are gonna end up doing really well here. There is a shift. So there's a shift in the energy that goes from kind of a confusion or trying to make a decision to you know, there's something here that's very positive coming in. Um, there is the truth and there is harmony with the Two of Cups. 
So I will leave this here, Aries. Thank you so much for watching my channel and take care.